is good, Gray Gang? We're here today. We have the back of the truck. We have a tarp. And we have a few boys that really like pull ponds. And we're going to bring them all three together today. And we're going to make a portable kind of pull pond. If you've not put two and two together yet, we're putting the tarp in the back of the truck, filling this sucker full of water. Then we're going to have a swimming pool slash pull pond. We'll put fish in it. Hey, that's looking pretty good. I mean, it's fitting, it's good. It has these holes all over it, so you know, we can tie it down to different stuffs, different parts of the truck. It's gonna need to be extremely strong because this is a lot of water. What'd you say to me? What the, oh, yeah. Where'd it go? Hope it didn't go in the water. Everything all right? No, we probably could've went bigger. We probably could have went bigger. Yeah, I think it is too. Let's flip it around. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to try to set you up a second time. Hopefully it doesn't fall off this time. We should be good to go. Maybe leave a little bit of slack over there, so that way it can form a little bit better to the water. What's it doing? Moving all around. Goodness, dude. Ah! <laughs> Get down. It's got a mind of its own. It's got a mind of its own. By the KG decal, kiddlegraywall.com slash shop. There he goes. There he goes. Now hopefully this will just form a little bit. All right, guys. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna let this fill up. It's gonna take a long time. It's a big bed. We will get back with you guys whenever something bad happens or whenever we're almost done. Now we're out here. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to get some of the fish. We're gonna put in the pull pond. Mainly just looking for three bluegill. Nothing big. Just a few little fish. Because we have to save room for Adam. He's gonna swim in it too. And Ethan. And I'm probably gonna swim in it too because that's, it's like 90 degrees. So yeah, it's really hot. But first we gotta get the fish. We'll reach in here at the kg fishing fanny pack pull out the trusty piece of bread that's always there we're just gonna get this little piece put it on there then we should be good this bread's really soft i'll chum up the water a little bit then we'll come right in here and catch them we got that bucket ready is there any water in it yeah there's water okay good shouldn't take very long at all How do we always fail at fishing? There, oh, had him. There he is. Yes. Okay, we got one, finally. He's a solid little purebred bluegill. We're gonna put this guy in the little, in our little holding tank for a minute. Then we'll run him on up to the house. He's trying to pee on me. And we'll put him in the actual new kind of pull pond. What we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that process about three more times until we get three bluegill. That'll be enough to, you know, have the pool pond and go swimming. But anyways, guys, we're gonna turn off the camera now. We're just gonna try to catch as many as we can real quick. And we're back, guys. We just got back from fishing. Uh, we left the pool pond. Honestly, guys, it's getting pretty full. The water's really good. It's kind of cold, but it's good because, it, like we mentioned earlier, it's like 95 degrees, and that's a lot. It's definitely deep enough for the fish. We got to keep in mind that we don't want it too full because we do plan on kind of driving around a little bit. We don't want the water to splash around. Also, we got to keep in mind that whenever a few bodies get in there, the water level is going to rise as well. But anyways, I think it's about time. <laughs> what? Science. Well, I think it's about time. Introduce these bluegill. Huh? You want to dip that nasty water in there? Should we just get them? We'll just get the fish out one at a time. Or do you want to swim before we put the fish in? No, we're going to swim with them. Ah! Chill! Betty is ready to get in her new pool. Now, I know what you're saying. Get her, dude. The fish are going to die out of the chlorine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would. Ow. Well, they would if we left them in here. But we're not going to leave them in here forever, guys. We're literally going to swim with them for two hours. And then we're going to take them right back to the pond we caught them from. And release them right back into the pond. That way, they'll be fine. You know what I was saying? What? Well, they're my fish. So it doesn't matter. Betty, Joe, and Chris. See, they're, they're kind of having a blast. It's a lot different water temperature and clarity than they're used to. The chemicals may shock them a little bit at first, but honestly, guys, they're going to be perfectly fine. They're already posted up over there in the corner. I don't know if y'all can see them. They got the camera wet, too. I'll wipe it off with the K new KG merch. Available at kennelgray1.com slash shop or first link in the description. We're going to get us a GoPro while we're going down the road so we can video our, the fish like swimming between our legs and stuff. Bro, that is that is crazy. This is cool. I think we try to tie this down. Yeah. It's formed already. All right. Yeah, we can start tying it down now. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and tie this down. That way, everything's looking good. Everything's going good. We're about to get in it. There's only three rules. Have fun and don't jump out. It's only two. No. Nah. 
And you know, oh gosh. Oh god. It's very shallow, but it should cover up your legs at least. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, this bluegill's nibbling my feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. The bluegill over there is just chilling. They have no idea what's going on. There's a lot bigger predators in the pool now. Oh snap, dude. This is cool. What are we thinking about it? It's gonna be cold getting in. It's is it sweet? Is it cold? It's, it's a hot day though, ain't it? How's the bottom feel? It's cool. Plenty of grill. Sounds cool. Kick the, uh, move the fish a little bit. See what they do. Here, put your foot up against them. I wonder them. if we can hand catch these bad boys. You may be able to. Nope, 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 nope. nope. No, they're too quick. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're too slimy. Oh, oh my God. Phone, wallet, keys, round. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Nuh-uh. It's like 100 degrees out here. Well, water's not. It's like zero in here. <laughs> How we feeling? How we feeling? Pros. Oh, good now. I'll just lost 30 pounds. The <laughs> fish don't care too much. They're fish. They're made for this. Also wearing a KG Optic shirt. All right, is this thing ready? Oh my God, I got big air bones. <laughs> Good ride update. How's it going, boys? Uh, you didn't drive a little non aggressively. Non aggressively? How's the fish doing? Yeah, one bat went up my shorts. One's trying to go up my shorts right now. <laughs> he is, ain't he? I don't know what he's trying to do. Did it get you weighed a little bit, KG Optics? Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> KG Optics always perform in situations like this. <laughs> my hat's going to get wet. Yeah, it will. All right. The seal strokes out. <laughs> <laughs> You good? Yeah, I'm good. Are you becoming a fish now? I'm one with the water. Oh god, this fish trying to go up my shorts now. What is up with this fish? It's the same one. He's chilling. Ow! Oh. Oh. Yee <laughs> Over. <laughs> what are they gonna pull us over for? Are you have to go back to my truck again? What the? Here, open cannonball. I got you, I got you. Oh, now we're down at the river? Now we're just going to back them up and I'm going to let them fly out, let them swim for themselves. Yes, this is what we do in Kentucky. There's not many options, folks. Should we? Go to Wendy's because it's like right there yeah, off the back road. Like road. Okay, we'll do it. We'll go home first, though. Come on in, KG. The water's fine. The water is surprisingly still here. <laughs> Adam's having a lot of fun. The fish getting easier to catch? Yep. Probably getting used to you. I tell you, <laughs> you're looking good, Adam. I said it wasn't gonna get too wet, but uh, this buddy right here, yeah, he's my fish. Like he's my rider die partner. Like I'm gonna name a new boat the Bluegill. Look at there. Goodness, son, went right between your feet. Any yeah. injury so far? Why do your knee? A little red. Well, this ratchet strap that we <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I, you kind of hit the brakes. I said. Bam! I was like, you see those guys? Like, yeah! I'm talking about it? Yeah. I'm surprised there were no cops there, but I'm ready to go through Wendy. <laughs> we'll go back through, let these fish off, and then we'll fill up and we'll come right back. Sound good? You wanna go fishing with us? Woo! Subscribe to Kinderberg! Oh! <laughs> we need more water! We need more water now. Oh yeah. My hair's already dry. Well, we 
made it home. All in one piece. All three of the fish are still here. Successful, uh, we're still here. Successful ride to the bridge. Look back at you. What? This has been amazing. Has it been one of the best days of your life? One of the best days of my life. It's pretty fun. Now, we're going to take these fish and uh, put them back in the pool pond. There's only two. What? We have no idea. I'm not seeing it. KG Optic? I don't know. Okay, guys, so what we're actually going to do, we're going to get the minnow bucket, take these fish right back down to we got them. Two out of three ain't bad. I mean, I guess it was a pretty bumpy ride, wasn't it? Oh, it was you amazing. keep in mind, we're alive. <laughs> That's pretty good, too. And here we are, guys. We're actually back at the pond now. I'll come over here, reach in, get one of the bluegill. See, over there, still kicking everything. Toss her right in there. There she goes. Perfectly fine. Come right in here, get the second bluegill. Ow. Pull her right out there. Also still kicking, still breathing. Toss her in. And there she goes, son. Swims right off. But now we decided let's put the fish back so the fish are gone. Now we want to go to Wendy's. We want to go to a drive-thru. We drove past some uh, what construction workers earlier and they were, they were well, loving it. Then we passed some old lady on a lawnmower. She was loving it too. So we're just going to, you know, go out to Wendy's or something to see what we could get. This is a little bit different video for kg outdoors i guess but i don't know it's still a super fun video it's like 90 degrees out here 95 degrees it is hot but anyways guys are you ready to rock yes sir go ahead and get in i'm ready to roll man. i have my phone in my pocket no well it's a I'm joking. this is outdoors this is outdoors kind of it's kind of cold now yeah it's kind of cold it's got colder oh uh, yeah we put this in we dried off yeah we put in new water and you dried off the water's not even clear anymore <laughs> i peed in it Oops. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. What do you want to do? Order some food. What are we getting at Wendy's? I'm All right, so we're going to Wendy's. What are we getting? Bro, I want my Frosty. He's getting him a Frosty. I'm getting two-piece chicken nuggets. I mean, two four-piece chicken nuggets. The Wendy's workers. They may get mad, though. It'll be all right. I used to work there. What do you want me to do? We'll order for you. Why don't you jump in the pool and chill out while we're waiting on our food? Because I'll probably mess it up anyways. Do you want us to order your food? You don't want to do nothing, do you? you just no, I don't. I don't. I'm just the chauffeur. So you want us? To I'm just the Uber driver. Okay, we'll order. We'll order for you. This is Uber Eats, boys. <laughs> this is Uber Uber Eats Kentucky Edition. As for the Uber Eats driver himself, we're actually driving a GMC Sierra. Subscribe to Kendall Gray, you'll see this video. Kendall Gray, a, mi a million subscribers. Go subscribe to Kendall Gray. gonna say the vibes on the inside and outside of the car are very different so we're here at our local wendy's and we're gonna get some chicken nuggets and some frosties subscribe to kendall gray kendall gray outdoors <laughs> i can hear them plugging they're plugging too hard, dude. They're plugging way so hard. If they want to plug something, they should plug kindlegrade1.com slash shop, pick you up some merch, and support the channel. Support us by, by helping us pay for these chicken nuggets. Alrighty. How's it going for Kindle? No, 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 Um, 
maybe a little wet, but what'd you expect? <laughs> so. They better not get my chicken nuggets wet. If I have to eat soggy chicken nuggets, it will not end well. I can tell you that. What's up, man? Come have a swim with us? The boys making the transaction. Oh, there's the chicken nuggets. Oh, that's my chicken nuggets. Come get in with us. I would, man. This looks like a lot of fun, don't it? All right, make sure you subscribe to Kendall Gray. I did that. Okay. I'll see you guys. I see. Oh, well, we got her frosty. That's pretty successful. That's how you order uh, food in the back of a truck with water. Woo! Are my chicken nuggets wet? Nope. Good. So what do you want to do with this? We just going to eat these, Adam? Yeah, we'll get one. Did you get one for all three of us? All right. I will head you on home. Glad my chicken nuggets weren't salty because I told them if we was, we was going to drop you off the bridge again. <laughs> yeah, they didn't like it the first time. I think they learned their lesson. How'd it go? Keep your change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow, there's like $2. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's cool, dude. That's fun. Why'd you get two transactions? Well, I want to hop on in and eat my Frosty. Their Frosty kind of went airborne a bit midway through the flight. Any more water? We lost half of it. I know you did. <laughs> All right, well, here I go. Ooh. I've not even been in. Oh, it is cold. It's good to hear now. Yeah. Let me go ahead. I'll eat my chicken nuggets first. I can grab them. Oh, no, that was a good trip. It was. Oh, yeah. <sighs> that is good. cold. Surprisingly, on a. Did you give me spicy chicken nuggets? No, we ordered chicken nuggets. <laughs> is that that spicy? I don't know if they're spicy or not. If they are, that's okay. Good. The frosty was pretty good, I have to say. What little actually stayed in? Not much stayed in. So what was your experience? We almost died. Really? Twice. What was the scariest well, part? I, when I almost fell off the side over here. I went underneath him. <laughs> and I was hanging off the side. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just driving those time. I don't know. How many times your glasses come off? Mmm. A lot. These are good. Yeah, they are. Good job, Wendy's. <laughs> Bag's a little... Bag's a little wet. I'm getting frosty. Well done, Wendy's. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well? At least yours ain't flying everywhere. <laughs> I put it up and it went wrong out the door. <laughs> like it's spoon, like I just watched it go. <laughs> it went flying. <laughs> What's the hurry, man? I'm gonna go to Bible school. Okay, guys, this is actually filming on a different day, but it is time for the verse of the week. Now, this week's verse of the week is coming out of Isaiah 28 6. This is one of my favorite verses, and this is actually the third time it's been the verse of the week. But, anyways, it says, He will be a spirit of justice to the ones who sit in judgment. 
a source of strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. Now what this verse is saying is how God is going to be our judge. A lot of times I feel like we try to be our own judge, and if someone does us wrong, then we try to be the judge and do wrong back to them. But what we need to do is step back and let God judge the situation, and do what a judge would do, and you know, equal it out. So if God sees that someone else done you wrong, he will pay you back double for what they did wrong to you. But that's only if you let God take care of it. If you go take care of it yourself and try to be your own judge, you'll probably mess up yourself because you're not meant to be the judge. He's supposed to be the judge. He knows everything and he knows everybody. So let's just let him do his job. He's more than happy to do it. And if anything bad happens to you this week that you feel is unfair, just keep in mind, let him be the judge. That's kind of his job. You're not the judge. You didn't go to law school. If you did, I don't really know what to tell you. Congratulations. But anyways, guys, if you do want to support the channel, it is kendallgray1.com slash shop. Pick up some merch, support us eating the chicken nuggets and the Frosties. Hey, you heard what she said. Frosties aren't 50 cents anymore, boys. They're up to 99 cents. That ain't coming cheap, you hear me? But anyways, guys, I'll let you go. We'll see you sometime later, probably Monday. Like and subscribe to Kendall Gray if you liked this video. Go buy his merch in the description below. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.